Training so far has been great. Uh, we've had uh, 14 sims before we hit the flight line, and uh, the simulator here is really realistic, so it's a great representation of what you feel like when you're in the jet. Uh, so you're up in a dome, it's 360 degree view. Um, so some academics, 14 sims, and then you hit the flight line. So, so far I've really enjoyed it. Other fighter aircraft have uh, either two-seat models. In the Strike Eagle, we are a two-seater. Uh, so when it comes to your first flight or the first time you're doing something, they usually throw an instructor pilot in your back seat, just as a kind of a safety precaution. So here, we have somebody fly chase. So they're not with you in the airplane. They're chasing you. Um, so that was just something that was different. It was a pretty easy transition from the sim to the jet. Um, like I said, the sim is a great representation of the, how the jet flies uh, until you break ground. It felt really good uh, to get some air underneath me. Women have been flying fighters for over 20 years. Um, actually, they've been flying fighters since World War II, uh, but they've been flying uh, fighters in combat uh, for over 20 years, so it's really not a thing. So the first sortie was pretty basic. Uh, it's called transition, so you go out there and you learn how to take off, you learn how to land, uh, and you learn how to land without uh, an engine or simulated. So uh, you go out and you practice a bunch of landings and approaches uh, simulated with an engine out. So go out to the airspace, see what flying around Eglin's like, uh, and come back, fly around in the pattern, and practice some landings. It looks like fun, it's challenging, it's demanding, it's incredibly rewarding. I don't know, I couldn't imagine doing anything else.